Hello and welcome here to Stocksfield Cricket Club this afternoon with me, Matthew Erskine. You're listening to commentary of this match between Stocksfield and Tyndale in Division 1 of the Northumberland and Tyneside Cricket League. Tyndale uh, batting first, yes. 61 for 3 we've got on the scoreboard at the moment. And at the wicket are Creighton and Callan McCabe for Tyndale. And it's Creighton on strike and it's going to be um, Denisi de Bull, who's got three wickets to his name already this afternoon. He's there, and that's uh, Creighton's forward, and the ball just bounced up there off a part of his knee and went into the offside, and there's no run. And we've got a slip in, we've got a third slip and a gully, we've got a point, we've got. Um, an extra cover, a deep mid off, a deep mid on, um, a forward square leg, and a third man, and a fine leg across to our right hand side. Now here's Denisi again, just about the ball into Crichton. Who's, this one's full, and he plays his forward to this one and pushes it out under the near side here, and it's picked up a deep, deep mid on there, and that's Douglas who picks it up for Stocksfield, and there's no run again. So the weather's good here this afternoon at Stocksfield, at the main road ground here. Not so good at the moment for Tyndale though. Three wickets down. Denithi again to Crichton, who's forward and drives. And he'll get four for that, up to the extra cover boundary on the far side. And the ball just races up there and goes just through the shadows of the trees and hits on the wooden fence down there before it's retrieved and thrown back in. So four more to the total, and there we go, the scoreboard's moved up a bit more now. We've got 74-3 now, Tyndale, Crichton 19, and Callan McCabe 18 not out. So here's Denisi again about to bowl to Crichton. Right-handed Crichton, if you remember. Batting right on his crease. Bowles now does Denise here and that's um, forced him back a little bit there and it struck him on the body, down on the leg, on the crease and it runs out to this, the leg side, over on our side here where down behind the deep square leg boundary broadcasting the deer here on this sunny deer and Denise here, there was no run there so the score stays at 70 the three wickets out so far, Ollie Fletcher as Denise is in again, bowling to Crichton and there's an edge, it's hit the pad I think, that one hit the top of the pad with Crichton going forward there. Or oh, it certainly sounded like um, not a ball hitting wood there. And it went through to the wicketkeeper, but um, the umpire shakes his head at that appeal from a few of the Stocksfield fielders there. But James Rain fed out as well. He went for four, Fletcher was 12, and Tom Kant, the other batsman out, he went for 13. But here's Denithi again now, full toss, and it's driven for four again, almost the same, just a little um, square, just a little to the right, and it passes nearer to that um, cover on the far side there, up towards the railway track. So four more to Rainford there, with that drive of that full pitch ball, and at the end of the over, the end of the 16th, a uh, maximum of 50 overs here this afternoon, 74 for three, Tyndale, Creighton, 23 and Callan McCabe, 18. And the ball's just back in play now, and um, it's going to be Henderson to continue. Henderson has, has the first change from this end, and he'll be running in right from right to left as we watch the play here, and he'll be left arm over the wicket to the right-handed McCabe. With no slips in now, McCabe watches this one outside the off stump, and there's a good take from. Um, I know it's gone through. He missed it. It's gone through, and um, there's going to be runs there. So not much. Um, not much um, reaction from the fielders or the batsmen or the few spectators here this afternoon. But four more gone to the total there. Four byes signalled by the umpire. And we're good. 80 yards away here. And that one must have shot through. But he has Henderson again. Full down the leg side this time. And 
um, tried, McCabe tried to play that one away but it goes through to the wicket keeper and there's no run. And here we go again, Henderson just gets the ball back. And now he's in again. Past umpire Collins at that end. Full again outside the off stump this time. And again there's no there's a run, is there? Yes, we've got um, a wide ball this time. And um the umpire just signals again. It doesn't look like he got any um response from the scorers there. He's standing there, he's got his arms up again, and he's still waiting for the scorers to acknowledge the runs there. And there was a couple of runs to the score anyway. It's gone to uh, 80 now, 80 for 3, Tyndale. Henderson to Crichton this time, and that again, and this caught down the leg side, is it? Yes, a catch. And Crichton's gone, he's out. It's 80 for 4, Tyndale, and Crichton it is. He's gone for 23. And that one urgent, uh, just moving down the leg side, a little clip, and um, he was soon on his way. Started, started walking, left it up to himself to go that time. So, four wickets down now for Tyndale in the 17th over. 80 for four, Crichton gone for 23. And uh, Callum McCabe is still there, he's 18 not out. And the new batsman in for Tyndale is Sam Peter. He's making his way up to the crease there now. You are listening to Cricket West Town on Spreaker Internet Radio in association with the Royal Oak Country Hotel, Conseil Colliery, County Durham. And the new batsman Sam Peter is just up there and we've got... Um, the field is just all breaking up on a gorgeous afternoon here at Stocksfield. Tyndale missing um, Dan Parker today, or Lady Penelope's driver. And we've got um, Sam Mannion away as well. Richard Bailey into the side. Um, Ollie Fletcher, another chance for him um, to play for the first team. He's had his innings this afternoon. It's 80 for 4 Tyndale. And we've got Peter on strike, right-handed. And he'll be at the school end with no slips in place, with a wide stance on the creases. Henderson's in now and bowls, and that's outside the off stump. And um, I think it's Wiley there behind the stump, spotting. He flings himself away to his right that time and collects that one, so there's no run. And the ball's back down at the bowler's end now. A slight breeze here for you, picking the breeze up on the... Microphone. I hope it's not too distracting for you if we're getting through to you this afternoon. But um, here's Henderson again to Peter, and that's down the leg side. And he tries to play that one away as Peter, but it goes through to the wicket keeper, and there's no run again. So, Tyndale, it, um, they couldn't, they had to wobble the first three wickets fell in about 15 minutes and then Callum McCabe and Jamie Crichton just rescued it a bit but Henderson bowls again to Peter who defends this one from the crease square out onto the near side here and it's picked up at backward point and there's no run. So that's the end of the over, the end of the 17th, 80 for 4 time deal and it's uh, Sam Peter who's not not out and Callum McCabe 18 not out. And the last man out was Jamie Crichton. And he went for 23, caught down the leg side. So we've just, as we've got underway here, we're going to have a drinks break now. And out comes um, after 17 of us. So we must be going to um, schedule two drinks breaks on this um, hot day here at Stocksfield. It isn't the hottest day we've had this season. The breeze is keeping everybody cool here. Um, but we'll see. Um what's going to happen when we've finished and the two batsmen McCabe especially in at the crease at the moment he's coming off a back of a good couple of scores and it was 48 in the last innings last week and before that he had a 
he didn't bat in the game against Percy Main, but there was 70, 71 not out, 39 and 27 in the innings he's played so far for Tyndale this season, the new signing. Um, and Sam Peter out there as well at the crease. He's 16 in the last match. Uh, he didn't bat in the one before that and just a couple in the innings before that, but um, he's taken a few wickets as well and they're out there at the moment. The two batsmen just having a little chat up at that far end. And one or two of the Stocksfield players just um, taking advantage of this break to nip into the dressing room. The changing rooms across to the right hand side there. Um, one or two of the batsmen yet to go in are just milling about outside the doors. Umpire Collins and umpire Ainsley today. He's wearing his sun hat today, umpire Ainsley. He's just having a chat and a drink over there as well. Around the ground we've got the railway track and just on the opposite side of the field from us. Got the clubhouse to the right hand side of us here and the school, Boomley First School across to our left. That's the scene as it's set and there's another game of cricket going on down there on the bottom pitch here. Um, it'll be in the West Tyne League because Stocksfield second 11 are up at Tyndale today on this double header weekend and um, the teams swap round tomorrow as these two teams go up to Priors Flat to contest the, the game up there and this on over the weekend the two games in two days and incidentally these two clubs they've never met in league cricket before 228 years of um, combined history and with them playing in different leagues They've, this is the first time they've met in league cricket. The two first teams, the two senior teams at any rate. So out of all them years, they don't play a game and then they play two in two days. They might have um, planned that one. They couldn't have planned that one if they tried. But uh, we're about to get back underway here now. And it's uh, the sun beating down here. Everybody just moving at a year half a yard slower than the otherwise might and it's going to be Callan McCabe um, yes Callan McCabe who's going to take strike here Sam Peters just down at the non-strikers end and we're going to have a change of a change of bowling at this end and he's going off with um, his wickets in the bag and we're going to have um, Thurlwell who's going to come on now he's a right arm spinner he used to bowl leg breaks I don't know if he still does but um, he's just about to take up the attack down at that end. He's in discussion now with Wiley's captain, the wicketkeeper, who's trying to set a field here down at Umbaya Ainsley's end. And we've got uh, McCabe on strike, so what are we going to have here? We've got a deepish point in place at the minute, um, a square leg. Uh, Midwicket's sitting on the floor at the moment, so it's all a bit of a jumble at the moment. Yeah, as we're about to get underway again. So we're taking our time here. Now, he looks sorted. Wiley leaves the conversation down there with the field not yet really in position. Um, they're just looking to where they go. Well, he's going to stand up to the stumps anyway. And um, he's go we're going to have a slip in place. We're going to have a backward point, a backward square leg. We're going to have an extra cover. Um, a deep mid-off, a deep mid-off and a mid-wicket. And that's it at the moment. So... He's quite pacey when he bowls. He looks. Um, he bowled in a friendly match, yeah, quite a couple of seasons ago now, um, against Tyndale. Didn't play in the cup tie the teams played here a fortnight or so ago. But here he is now, right arm over the wickets, bowling to McCabe with one slip. And that's lent on, plays back that time McCabe through. Um, the backward point and just a little misfield there allows them to get through for the single quite comfortably. So McCabe goes to 19, the score goes to 81 for Ford Tyndale in the 18th over this one of a maximum of 50. And here's Thirlwell again now in the bowl to Peter loops one up and that's a full toss and it's driven but not uh, very um, powerfully out under that far side through extra cover and they've got a single low, one more to the total, the score goes to 82 for 4 and that's Sam Peter off the mark and Thirlwell again now about to bowl to McCabe 
flatter this time and McCabe uh, drives off the back foot and hits it up there towards the far boundary where it's fielded it backward at deep, deep point that one he's way out there on the boundary so there's another single and that takes the score to 83 now here's Thurlbull again to Peter this time moves back in his crease and plays a nice little um, push down and there's another misfield that's got through the fielder again there at um, backward point the orthodox backward point there and that wasn't very piercy but it got away up there towards the boundary and that's allowed them to for another single the Tyndale batsman so here's Thurlbull again now about to bowl and he'll be bowling to McCabe again that's full pitch this time and McCabe half forward there and just defends away to this the leg side and there's no run and all quiet out there quiet round the boundary as Thurlwell's in again now to bowl to uh, McCabe and he's got this one over the top and that'll run away for four over mid wicket that time it was a full ball and he got it away and yes the fielder gives up on that one quite early on and that's the end of Thirlwell's first over and the score at the end of that one is 88 for 4 Tyndale. McCabe 24 came in when another when another flurry of wickets went for Tyndale and um, Sam Peter in at number 6 is 2 not out. And we're on the main road ground, the main road side of the ground here this afternoon. The cars, you may just pick them up as they whiz past us. We haven't had too many. Maybe they're all down at Newcastle at the races today. Northumberland Plate Day down there. And there was, um, talking of Sam Peter Batten, there was a horse. He's just going to resume it now. And Henderson bowls and Mannion's forward and pushes that one out to deep middle and there's no run. Yes, Sam Peter at bat at the moment. And the horse, a horse I don't know if it won, but... Sam's Sam Missile was running in the 130 at Newcastle today on Northumberland Plate Day. And if that horse did win, it might be a good omen here. Sam's Missile. Henderson again to Peter, who's forward and just plays this one out to the um, mid-wicket area again. But it's picked up by the bowler. It was quite full, that one. And he has a wide stance anyway here, Peter. But he got forward just a little bit further to that one. Those great long legs of his just... Um, making sure he does get forward but he has um, Henderson again who bowls to Sam Peter and he whips this one away up towards the mid wicket boundary on the far side there and he's going to go through for a single and that takes him to three the score goes to 88 for four now Tyndale in the first innings here and it's going to be Henderson again medium just a tad above medium pace, left arm over the wicket. Here he goes now. Runs in to McCabe this time, who drives a full ball round the corner, past on the inside of square leg there, but it doesn't get too far. It's fielded up inside the far boundary and may have just been have been outside the circle. It's a long way away over there today. And there's a there was a couple of runs there, I think, to the total and no just one McCabe's back um, he's down at the non-strikers end now now here's Sam Peter again facing Henderson slower ball this time and full and um, Sam Peter picked that one and drove it low across the ground and it goes out to the right hand side where it's fielded at mid off there and there's no run and one or two of the Tyndale players just having a circular walk anti-clockwise around the pitch from where we're sitting at the moment Henderson now again to McKeer, um, McKeer uh, Peter that time and he just um, just manages to get the ball away dug in it was full and he got the ball back down on it quick enough there and it went out to um, cover point and there was no run it's fielded and that's the end of the over and it's time deal 90 for 4 after 19 overs now. Sam Peter 3 not out and Callum McCabe 25. And the batsmen out so far are Ollie Fletcher. Um, Tom Kant was out first. Ollie Fletcher, then James Rainford. He was out. So there are the four wickets down. The wickets fell at 26, 28, 32 
and 80. And there was three to Dunisi and one to Henderson of Stocksfield. So we're going to have Thirlwell again here. Um, from the school end across to our left. So he's coming in from left to right as we watch the play. And he's bowling to Callum McCabe. Back he goes and plays back down the pitch. Um, to a well-pitched ball there. A couple of bounces and the bowler catches that one. And he's quickly back to his mark. Now here he goes again. Just um, adjusts his glasses on his face there before he comes in over the wicket. Bowls a full ball again. And it's McCabe who's forward again. Just defending on the offside this time. And there's no run. And here's Thirlwell quickly back to his mark. Gets the ball. Moves in again. Now here's McCabe facing up to this one. Back he goes and drives this one up towards the deep cover boundary. It's fielded now and he gets a single. The ball is quickly thrown in to Wiley the wicketkeeper. The Wiley wicketkeeper. And um, it's Thirlwell back again and he just picks the ball up. And he's about to bowl again. This time to Sam Peter. Here he comes. Um, a full toss this time. And Peter, um, another ball has got through the field there. That was... Low down on the ground, but um, it wasn't going that fast and just missed by the fielder there. And it runs out to near the mid-wicket boundary across to our left where it's fielded. And there's a run there to Sam Peter. He's gone to four and the score goes to 92. Now he has Thirlwell again, bowling to McCabe. Back in his crease and that one got some bounce and lift. And uh, it, it's missed the wicket keeper and I wonder if it'll be signalled by here yeah, but it's thrown in now and there's two of them whichever way this goes um, no they must have got a little touch there the umpire it's umpire Ainsley down at that end it did bounce a lot there from on a good length from Thirlwell and he has McCabe again about to face up to him full toss again and that's coming up towards us here on this deep mid-wicket boundary and he's going to get four the ball just runs through the um between the cars here and it was a full toss and put away nicely there from McCabe so at the end of the over he's gone to 32 Tyndale 98 for 4 after 20 and the score Sam Peter on 4 and McCabe on 32 98 for 4 Tyndale uh, after 20 overs And we're going to have Henderson again, are we? Yes, he's about to come in now to start the new over. Bowling to Sam Peter. Left arm over the wicket. Peter's forward. Plays and misses this time outside the off. And it goes through to Wiley, the wicket keeper. And there's no run. And he has got this wide, really wide attacking stance. Sam Peter and he's been given the chance to bat this season and so far he's done not too bad as Henderson's in again there's a hit and a cover drive this time and it comes through past the right hand of extra cover racing up towards the clubhouse just past it on the right hand side a nice drive there from Sam Peter and he's got four runs for it so he's done that one well fuller ball and it goes, that's the 100 up for Tyndale, it's 102 for 4, Peter goes to 8 with that shot. And he's just, it's, he's going to take up strike again here. And it's going to be Henderson now, and his shirt sleeves. And here he goes now. That's the next one, pull shot, short, and it's going to be another 4, one bounce 4 up to the far boundary there, umpire Collins. Um, signals over and as one or two of the shorter balls were done there was no pace there it just sat up and Peter got on top of it and kept it flat and there was no chance of a catch and it goes for four runs so another four to the total 106 for four now time deal in the 21st over Peter's gone to 12 McCabe at the non-striker's end 32 Henderson again now runs in the ball to Peter. As didn't swing that time, just defends this one down out square towards us here. And it's picked up there at close point and there's no run. And the ball goes around the offside field and it makes its way back. A good polish there. 
peaceful afternoon so far. Maybe we'll get one or two um, more spectators in later. Not very many at all. Here at the main road ground at Stocksfield. Henderson now. Swing and a miss down the leg side. And it goes through to Wiley. And it was a short ball again. And it looked like it just popped over Sam Peter's left shoulder there. It was almost in line, if not a bit higher there. Looking square on, but um, he just steps away the square leg, leans on his bat and has a look at it. And it waits the next ball. So good afternoon, and if you're listening here on Spook Internet Radio, you're more than welcome to do so. And there's a swing and a hit, and it's gone up towards the square leg boundary. The fielder, a despairing dive there from the fielder. Um, it was a full toss, a full ball, and he turned it quite beautifully round the corner there, did Sam Peter. And he gets another four. And the score, that's the end of the over, is it? Yes, umpire Collins just calls it there, and it's gone to... 110 for 4 at the end of the 21st, Sam Peter 16 and 32 to Callum McCabe. And it's McCabe who's going to be on strike at the start of the next one and it's going to be Thirlwell again. We have got one or two spectators just looking down on the seats over to the left by the school and that one, that one dipped. Was to give it some air there, give it plenty of air, and it dipped in front of um, McCabe, who was equal to it. He just defends it off to the leg side here, and Thirlwell does his own fielding. And there's no run. Now here's Thirlwell again, bowling to McCabe. No slips in place. Slower one this time, and um, McCabe just turns this one round the corner, up towards midwicket on the near side here. And again, there's no run. It went straight to the field along the ground, that one. Now here's Thirlwell. He's back at his mark now, moves in again, bowling to Callum McCabe. Back in his crease this time, and he's got that one uh, square of mid-wicket there, and he's going to get one run. He goes to, and one more to the total, it goes to 111 for four in the 22nd. 33 now to Callum McCabe. Now Sam Peter on strike. He hasn't faced many from Thirlwell up to now. Here he goes, faces his first one. There's a swing and a hit, and it's gone up offside, out to the left hand of deep mid off there, and it's racing up to the boundary, across to our left, and on the far side it disappears under the trees, and that was a nice back foot drive there from um, Sam Peter that time, and he's gone to 20, it's 115 for four now, time deal. So a little bit of a recovery starting here. When Crichton and McCabe... They didn't take advantage of the recovery they put in, but here's Thirlwell again now, and there's a nice little push, so a push with a cross bat there out under the offside, um, square of the wicket, but it doesn't get very far, and there's no run. The ball's back with Thirlwell now, and here he goes. He's about to start his run up again now, bowling to Sam Peter. Pitch as well, and there's a shout for LBW, and no, the umpire says no that time, and he was well back in his crease there, there was no forward movement from Peter that time, step back, and the umpire um, shakes his head at that one, and that's the end of the over, so there's um, no runs off the last ball there, so it's 115 for four time deal, it's 22 Sam Peter, and 33 to Callum McCabe. And if you're just joining us here at coming up to 3 o'clock, or you've joined us for our first broadcast, we're just coming up to 3 o'clock on this sunny Saturday afternoon, the 11th round of matches for these two clubs. And the halfway point of the season reached after the completion of today's games. And it looks like we're going to have a change of bowling, and it's going to be Wood who's coming on. Wood for Stocksfield, right arm bowler. He's replacing Henderson down at that end, so Henderson leaves his first spell with a wicket, that of Jamie Crichton, and Wood, just slightly short of medium pace, coming in. He had the ball now to Callum McCabe, and that one's turned to the leg side, which is the far side from us here, and it's picked up off the ground there, and there's no run. It's 115 for four, time deal. Now, Wood again, in from the right. From right to left as we watch here. Uh, defensive shot this time, going forward from 
McCabe to a well-pitched ball on a good length there and the ball just comes off the outer half of the bat, goes to backward point there and there's no run to time here. Now here's Wood again now bowling to McCabe. Well pitched again outside the off stump this time and McCabe lets that one through. And Wiley takes it cleanly behind the stumps there. And here's Wood again now quickly back, quickly through the over here. A big swing of the arms before he bowls. And that one's on leg stump and McCabe goes back, tries to play it away but it just strikes his pads and goes out and he, it's fielded there. So we've got a backward point. Um, we've got a sort of a deep leg slip there, deep backward square, mid wicket to mid off a mid on, an extra cover and a deep cover. As uh, yes, Wood again, forward goes McCabe this time, defends the ball out under the leg side there, picked up at mid wicket, off the ground and there's no run. Back the ball is with um, Wood again now. And he comes from right to left, bowling to McCabe. McCabe's back in his crease and just runs this one off the face. Fine down the leg side, up towards fine leg, and that's nicely timed there for four runs. Just stepped, was well deep into his crease, back under his, um, just short of the stumps there, and a little, not even a hard push of the ball there, and that was timed nicely for four, up to fine leg. So that's the end of Wood's first over. Four off the last ball, that rather spoiled it a bit. But McCabe's gone to 37. He's on his way to another good innings with Tyndale when he came in. Tyndale were drooping a bit, but it's 119 for four after 23 overs here. And now I've time to say if you've just joined us for our three o'clock broadcast here on the Cricket West Tyne programme on Spooker Internet Radio, um, you're more than welcome to join us. Listen, you can listen on your smartphone or whenever and wherever you can get an internet connection. But um, there's a good shot from... Uh, Peter right back in his crease again just plays it late watches it carefully off the pitch a back foot drive there or a punch shot up through extra cover and he gets one for it and the score goes to 120 now he has Thirlwell again and it's McCabe that time who tried to play away down the leg but it went through to Wiley the keeper, the keeper there and there's no run Thirlwell it is back to his mark now so he's over as quickly again and here he is, up he goes. He comes in from left to right and bowls. And well forward there was McCabe. He saw that one, picked the length early there, right down the pitch. And just he smothered it into the ground. And the ball rolls off and fielded on the offside. Thirlwell again now to McCabe. And that's full and that's chipped away through mid-wicket this time. It's Douglas after it from deep mid-on. Now they've gone back for two. Douglas picks it up now and throws in. To the non-striker's end. And there's two runs added to the total there. Goes to 122. McCabe goes to 39. <coughs> Here's the next one now from Thirlwell. And that's a back foot drive again from McCabe. But this time he doesn't place it away from the field. It goes straight along the ground and into the hands of deep mid-off. And there's no run. Now he has Thirlwell again, moves in again to McCabe, ball short this time and that'll be whacked away and he'll get four for that one, um, did what justified it, justified to that ball, it was short and slow and back on his, rocked back and clattered it up there towards um, the deep or the long off boundary across to the right there. So four at the end of the over, another four, two overs in a row now we've had four off the last ball so it'll be Wood to take up the attack again. But not before I give you the score here. 126 for four, Tyndale. It's McCabe, 43. And Sam Peter, 21. They're making a good fist of it now, these two. Long may it carry on for t from Tyndale's point of view. But Stocksfield just coming up to half the overs bold now. They'll want rid of this partnership as soon as possible. But here's Wood again now. Bowling to Peter, who's forward to a full ball and drives out along the ground. But it goes straight to extra cover there. And there's no run. And here's Wood, right arm over the wicket again, about to move in the ball, and he'll be bowling to Sam Peter. Peter's forward, driving again, and he hasn't got that one past the field of it, deep mid off. The fielder just moved a couple of yards to his left there, towards us here, um, behind deep extra cover, 
And he gets his hands down to the ball. So there was no run there as Wood moves in again now. Peter's back and defends this one just under the offside and it's picked up there with short extra cover off the ground and there's no run. 126 for 4. 21 not out, Sam Peter, he's on strike. Now Wood moves in the ball again. He's there. And Peter just um, clips this one through backward point this time off the back foot. Well back in his crease again and he gets a single. It's picked up now, fielded and thrown in. He's gone to 22. The score goes to 127 for 4. Now we're changing the field here. Oh no, it's a change in the uh, the side screens on the move. I thought Wood there for a minute was pushing his mid on, deep mid on and deep mid off back towards the boundary, but uh, they're coming back in now. They're off to move the side screen across to the right hand side there. And the frame, the side screen, they've got a frame around it, but it isn't. It's only two thirds covered with the white plastic boarding, um, the bottom two thirds, which is probably best as Wood moves in the ball again from right to left as we watch here bowls and there's um, McCabe this time it is who's forward defending and there's no run McCabe, um, McCabe on strike he's 43 not out and it's Wood again now right arm over the wicket moves in again upright in body as he bowls and there's another defensive shot and it goes just to the leg side this time where it's picked up and uh, the over has finished another quick over quickly through here and we've had 26 now and the score's 127 for four time deal McCabe 43 and Sam Peter 22 the men out so far are were Tom Kant, Ollie Fletcher, James Rainford and Jamie Crichton and the wickets fell at 26, 28, 32 and 80. And are we going to have another change of bowling here? I think we are. Thirlwell's been dispensed with. And it's going to be Sam Peter on strike at the moment. And he's just having a look around the field. Doesn't quite know where he's going yet. Um, he's just having a look. So we're going to have a third man, a fine leg, um, a backward point, a deep cover, an extra cover, deep mid on, deep mid off, a mid wicket and a square leg. And that was first one strikes Peter on the pad and there's no run. And it's picked up quickly there on the leg side. And here's Peter again now, just sets himself right handed bat. And it's going to be, here's the next one, he's in to bowl now. And Peter goes forward and drives away this time, what a lovely shot for four. Over pitched there, and it got the business there from Sam Peter. He's gone to 26, the score goes to 131 for four, Tyndale. In the 26th over of a maximum of 50 here. So umpire Collins now has put his son hat on. And umpire Ainsley still got his on. Sam Peter on strike again. Here's the next one now. Forward he goes to a well-pitched ball that time. And he must have got two yards. And he looked for um, an extra run there. But a uh, little shot at the stumps. But everything's all right for Tyndale here at the moment. 131 for four. And... I wonder if Sam's, Sam Missile the horse did win at half past one at Newcastle because Sam Peter's winning at the minute here yeah, this battle of the Tyndale batsman and bowl as he pushes this one to the offside where it's fielded nicely at extra cover there and there's another um, throw in and again the batsman look to push on for a run but it doesn't come and the bales came off there but there was no action to supersede it. Now here's um, Peter again faces up to this one. Driven high over the onside this time. It's beaten Douglas at deep mid on there and it races away to our left and hits the wall over by the school there. So another four runs to the total. It takes it to 130 
Uh, five for four now, Tyndale. Peter's gone to 30. And McCabe at the non striker's end is 43 not out. And here's the next ball now. It's Sam, uh, Sam Peter on strike again. He defends this one out to the offside, and there's no run. And that's the end of the over. And Tom Kant just running out with some water there for Callum McCabe. And we're going to have an impromptu drinks break here for the batsman. They didn't um, have any water when it came, when the scheduled drinks break was on there. But as we've got a stoppage in play now, we'll go and we'll have a little word with one of, one of our sponsors here. It's the experts in business. Yes, Stacey. And welcome to the Cricket West Time programme on Spreaker Online Radio. Brought to you by experts in business on number one in business consultancy. For all your business needs, visit www.expertsinbusiness.co.uk or find them on social media. And welcome back here to Stocksfield. Um, Tyndale score 135 for four after 26 overs. The man at the crease, McCabe 43 not out and um, Sam Peter with another nicely struck four on the onside there, 30 not out now. And it's going to be Wood to take up the attack for Stocksfield again. And here he goes now, over the wicket now, bowling to McCabe, who's forward this time. The ball runs up to short final leg this time and there's no run. <coughs> and Sam Peter with his 30 so far. As it's McCabe about to face the next one now. Wood bowls and McCabe just pushes this down into the ground up to mid wicket there and there's no run. And 30, it's his highest score of the season so far. In the league anyway. As Wood in again now to McCabe who uh, tries to play this one away on the leg side again. A swing at it there and there's no run. Again, the ball just goes down under the ground and um, is picked up as a train passes one of the Pacer trains the purple Northern Rail Pacer trains heads off towards Newcastle as Woods in again now to bowl and McCabe it is again now tries to play away to leg but doesn't get it anywhere just the ball just runs off his um, leg there up to short fine leg again and there's no run it's 135 for four time deal after 26 Wood in again now to bowl. The next one here, McCabe. A swing again. And the ball just strikes his padding, goes onto the left the leg side that time. And there's no run. The ball's back with Wood again now. McCabe on strike. Fieldsman walking in. Wood bowls the next one, a swing and a leg side hit and he's going and there's a fielder up there deep mid wicket and it's thrown in now. It was a faster ball there from Wood and it forced um, Callum McCabe just to get that front foot out the way, slide it back into line and just whip it away off his legs up towards the boundary there where it was intercepted. But he got a single off that one so that's the end of the 27th over, 136 now for Fort Tyndale. Um, the last wicket fell at 80, that was Jeremy Crichton for 23, and McCabe 44, Sam Peter 30 not out. And it's going to be McCabe with that single to take up the strike again. So we've got a third mile and a fine leg, we've got a backward point. We've got a square leg, a deep cover, an extra cover, a straight mid-wicket, um, a long off and a mid-on. And that one's just a defensive shot there from McCabe out onto the leg side here. And there's no run. And the score remains at 136 for 14, dear. As the sun continues to beat down here and the breeze just blows about a bit more. And here's... The next one now. Swing and a drive this time and it's running up but the field will cut that one off 
a deep extra cover but no he's it's hit his leg and he's got another boundary there and he's not too pleased with himself there the fielder um for Stocksfield and just kicks the ground a bit but um he'll not be the first and he'll not be the last but that takes the score to 140 there and a, a boundary up to extra cover there from McCabe who is back in his crease defending this next ball here and he's gone to 48 so he's matched his score for last week and now he takes the strike again shirt sleeves on today his shirt just whistling in the wind there back at his mark now the bowler so here he is bowling to McCabe and he turns that one past square leg and it's running up towards the boundary they've taken one they're coming back for two and there's 50 for Callum McCabe so 50 for Callum McCabe he's back on strike as well And that's his third 50 of the season. As here he is facing the next one. Drives again. But that fielder there with short extra cover just gets down one knee and one hand there to field that one. And he does so positively. And he saves any runs. So we're about to see the next ball here at Stocksfield now, it's McCabe on strike. Full this time and it's driven, and that's driven up for one, up to the deep cover boundary now where it's fielded now and thrown into the wicketkeeper. And that's the end of the over, one to the one off the last ball there. And now it's 143 for four Tyndale, McCabe's gone to 51 with that last single, and Sam Peter is 30 not out. So it's all rather quiet and as I've said before we're a long way away from the play here um, the boundary on this side which will be the offside um, as the bowler runs towards the school we're down on the deep cover boundary and we're 10 yards behind the boundary so um, I would say about 80 yards it is from here up to the crease where McCabe is at bat now as Wood again to bowl bit of air that time and full and it's um, played through the leg side and it's Tristram Douglas there who makes a nice stop at deep mid on and McCabe gets himself a single he's gone to 52 the score goes to 144 for 4 Tyndale Wood again a big tall fella broad shoulders in he bowls and there's Peter this time off the back foot and that's nicely timed between extra cover and mid off it's racing up towards the boundary but it's scandal in pursuit he loses his hat but he picks it up now throws in to wood at the bowler's end and there's two runs to the total there it's 146 now Peter's gone to 32 is wood about the bowl again good length this time and that's nicely played for four watched it all the way late cut there and it's rolled up for four and into the wall a lovely shot there from Sam Peter and he's gone to 36 the score and that's the 150 up for Tyndale 150 for four in the 29th over here so this recovery for Tyndale well underway now Wood again about the ball to Sam Peter as that was quicker and it had to jam the bat down he looked to cut it there but um, and it hit the inside half of the bat and went out there to short fine leg and there's no run Wood back to his mark now here he comes about to go past umpire Collins over the wicket right arm Peter tries to sweep that time but it strikes his pad and bounces out under the offside here where it's fielded at deep gully or backward point there plenty of encouragement from the Stocksfield side as Peter takes the stance again now he has Wood bowling again now Peter back in his crease and just defends this one um, out to extra cover there and that's 
I think that's Archer who picks that one up. He's got his back to us at the minute. Um, but that's the end of the over. And Tyndale 150 for four after 29 overs here. Peter 36 and Callum McCabe 52. And the wickets, the men out so far, just to bring you up to date. Ollie Fletcher and Tom Cant and James Rainford and Jamie Crichton are out and the wickets fell at 26, 28, 32 and 80. And there's three to Denithi and one to Henderson. So we'll go to the end of this next over here on Speak Internet Radio. And then we'll have a little break. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage so far. If you're listening in, wherever you are, uh, to the Cricket West Town programme here. We've still got a glorious day, as I think it will be on most at most cricket grounds this afternoon. But it's going to be Callum McCabe on strike. Um, a third man in a fine leg. All the slips dispensed with now, and that's a good length ball, about a middle and off, and it's played the leg side there. Um, just turned the bat on that one, did McCabe, and it goes along the ground, and it's fielded there at mid-wicket, and there's no run. Still 150 for four. McCabe, 52. On strike. Here he is facing the next one now. Full toss and it's hit the pad and it's racing up towards fine leg across to the right hand side there. It's picked up now and thrown in and one leg by. Signalled by the umpire there. Up to the scorers. So 151 for four now. One to the extras column there. And here we go now. We've got a third man, a fine leg, a backward square leg, a point, um, an extra cover, a mid off, a uh, long off, drive this time up to the long off boundary where it's nicely fielded there diving to his right the fieldsman ran round to his left to collect that one and McCabe gets a single it goes to 152 he's gone to uh, 53 and I beg your pardon that was Sam Peter who hit that one so he's gone to 37 and now McCabe a miss playing a miss and that's the first one, he's done that too, and Wiley standing up behind the stumps there. A bit quicker there, that one, and um, he came forward. It was a good length and seemed to carry pace off the pitch, although I know most people know that it can't gather pace off the pitch, but it looked like it did from over here. And um, it was well taken in the end, about stump height, but thankfully, thankfully from McCabe's point of view, it missed the stumps. Um, here he is facing the next one and he lets that one go outside the off stump and there's no run not taken cleanly this time by um, Wiley behind the stumps there but he picks it up quickly and throws the ball back and we're about to have the next one here the next ball here we go so we got round as far as extra cover long off mid on mid wicket and square leg and that one's Pitch, pitched on a length and it bounced a bit and that was defended down from about waist height there or just above and that's the end of the over um, it's Tyndale 152 for 4 and McCabe 52 and 37 to Sam Peter 4 wickets down for Tyndale and just before I leave you the wickets fell at 26, 28, 32 and 80. The men out were Tom Cant, Ollie Fletcher, James Rainford and Jamie Crichton. And there's three wickets for Jay Dunithy and one to Henderson. And before I leave you, I'll just tell you, we'll be back on, what time is it now? Just coming up to 25 past three. If you want to join us again, you can from four o'clock. If you join us again at four o'clock, we'll be back on the air here for an update and some commentary as well. But for now, with Tyndale 152 for four in the first innings, I'll speak to you again at four o'clock.